Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I will show you how to automate the shutdown process on your Windows 10 PC as well as the reboot uh, process or the restart process on your Windows 10 PC. So sometimes you would want to um, automate these processes, the shutdown and the reboot. Um, maybe because you are running an application, you are running something on your PC that would need, would require the, a reboot or a shutdown at a later time. Um, you can watch this video or go through this video to learn how to automate the shutdown and then the reboot process. So the normal way of shutting down your computer, I'm going to show you two ways. You can click on the start button and click the power options. And then you can select from the power options above the sleep, the update and shutdown, the update and restart. In some PCs or on some PCs, um, you would also see just the shutdown process or the shutdown option or the restart option. But on this PC, I only get those three options. You can also press Alt F4, Alt plus F4, and then you will get the shutdown prompts. Um, so to select from the options, uh, when you click on the arrow down, so you can select, we saw those three options there. And then over here, we can also see sign out and then the sleep. So you can select one and then click OK. And then that too would shut down your PC um, or reboot your PC for you. So those are some of the conventional ways of um, shutting down or rebooting your PC. So to, to begin with, um, I will open a fresh notepad and then type the command shut down, followed by the parameter forward slash s forward slash t, and then space 60. So to break the command down, the actual command is the command, um, the shutdown command. And then the parameter to shut down the computer is the forward slash s. The forward slash t is the time um, you will specify for the PC to be shut down using that, the shutdown command. And then the time should be in seconds. So the 60 you see there is in 60 seconds. You can specify any time you want, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 hour, um, 12 hours, but it has to be in seconds. So I will click File, Save As. I will select Desktop. You can put it wherever you want. I will give it a name, call it Shutdown. And then, very important, you need to add dot bat which stands for batch file so that's the extension for a batch file so we are creating a, a batch file so once you type that you click save you will see it um, saved onto the location you selected in this case i selected desktop so we see them moving on to the reboot um, command so the same command but the first parameter i will change it to four slash r which stands for reboot or restart. I will select, select the same time, click file, save as, then I'll rename it to reboot.bat, which is also a batch file. So very important, make sure to add the .bat and then the file should be saved onto or into the location you selected. So you can see mine have been saved onto the desktop. That's where I selected. So going, up, going forward, um, I'll search for task scheduler. That is what we are going to use to automate the shutdown and then the reboot process. Once, it's po once it shows up, click on it to open it. You can expand the task scheduler library. And then on the right where it says view, you can also expand it if it's not already expanded. And then go ahead and then click the creates basic task. Once you click that, that window will pop up and then you can give the task a name. I'll call it shutdown because this is going to be a task for shutting down this PC. I'll, I'll give it a description that this PC or this task shuts down this um, PC. Once I have that typed, I'll click the next button to go forward from here. 
I'll click next and then on the next screen you want to select the the time that you want it to run do you want it to run daily weekly monthly so you, I will select daily and then click next over here I will select the dates and then the time I want the task to run and then the recurring days do you want it to run every day I selected one so it will run every one day which is every 24 hours I'll, I click next and then I'll select start a program and then on the next page I'll click the browse button and then I'll browse to the batch files I selected or I created earlier I'll select the shutdown in this case and then click the next button so this is a summary of the task we just um, created. We can, you can select the open properties dialog when you click finish, but I won't select it. I'll just click finish to create the task. To view the task, you can click on the task scheduler, scheduler library, and then you can see the task we just created, the shutdown task we just created. So let's go ahead and then create the other one which is the reboot um, task click the creates basic task give it a name call it reboots give it a description um, this task reboots this pc once that is done i'll click the next i'll select daily again because i want it to run every day i'll select the date and then the time they recur, recur every one day because I'll select that because I want it to run every day, which is 24 hours. I'll click um, next. Then I'll click, I'll select the start program again. Click browse here. Select the reboots. Select open and then click next. Summary of the reboot task we just created. And then once again, you can see the reboot task we just created listed in the list of tasks that is running on this PC. So I'll click close out of there. So once the time is up, you will see that the computer will prompt you that your computer will be shut down in one minute. One minute because we specified 60 seconds in the batch file that uh, we created. If it was five minutes, it was one hour you would see it stated down there that your PC will shut down in either five minutes or one hour or two days or whatever time um, you specify. So once that is done, you will see that the next thing will be that the computer, after one minute, the computer uh, will shut down automatically without any user um, interaction or without any user interference. So you can see the computer shutting down by itself without anybody touching anything so back onto the screen I powered it up again and then we are going to test out the, uh, the reboot also so you can see that it also says Windows will shut down but in this case it will actually shut down and power up by itself without any user interference so yes guys this has been a quick video tutorial on how to automate shut down and reboot process on your windows 10 pc how you can shut your computer down reboot it without any user interference so kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us click on the like button if this was helpful share the video turn on notification for all and then i will see you in another video thank you bye